Hey guys, so it's the next day. It's Thursday the 10th. It's about 7.45. We are all settled in for the night. Did a lot of cleanup. I finished up with wrapping most of Luna's presents. I just still have like two that I need to wrap. Um, I need to put them in boxes, so. I am with you tonight because Rory has requested that I film his portion of the video so that he can see his wrapped presents under the tree. He's a little jealous of his sister. He wants me to get his presents wrapped. So tonight I am here to show you all of the gifts that Dan and I got for Rory. He's in the other room watching Mickey Mouse so that I can film this. He really wants me to wrap his gifts. So let's go. So I shared with you guys the easel, the Chuck and Rory easel that I got for Luna. This was up there on my list of things I wanted to get him because he already helps out around the house a lot but he needs a little bit more structure in his day and since he's not going to preschool I thought let's introduce something like this to him so that he can start with getting on a, a, a structured routine. It's a Melissa and Doug magnetic responsibility chart and it just has different chores. It's a magnet so you can change it out and then each day of the week and a little basically sticker or gold star, whatever you want to call it, that you put on it saying that he did that chore for the day. And then on the back, it has all different ones that you can put instead. It's like, okay, what, what does Rory want to do or what do I want him to work on? Goals that he needs to work on a little bit more. So I thought this was perfect. It also has a few blank ones that you can just write down whatever you want. This is what it looks like. I'm so excited for him to start the new year with a nice routine um, because right now it's honestly pretty crazy. And then to go with that, this was actually my favorite thing about kindergarten. I loved the circle time in the morning. You talk about what you're going to do that day and you talk about the weather and everything. Like I loved that in kindergarten. So I want to start doing that with Rory. And Melissa and Doug makes a really nice looking one that is, it's a magnetic daily calendar. So. so it has the day of the week, the month, the date, and the year. So it says 2021 right there. And then it has the weather. You can choose different types of weather. Um, so it kind of helps the kid be more aware of what the weather's like outside. It helps them be more aware of what month it is, what day it is, all that. Rory really needs to work on that. Like he, I try to tell him, I try to instill that in him, but I think this is going to be a really good tool for us. Um, and then the season and then activities that you want to do that day or that you're planning on doing that day. And then how cold the temperature, um, a special occasion, and then how are you feeling? So I just love this. I think it's so cool. This was, like I said, one of my favorite things about kindergarten. I know that sounds weird, but I loved doing this in kindergarten, so I cannot wait to hang this up. So that's the first gift. Really excited about it. That's probably like the least fun gift that I got for Rory, more for me, but um, I do think he's really going to enjoy it. Kids these days just really love mystery things, so we got Rory two of them. So we decided to get him the Treasure X Sunken Gold Sharks Treasure. So this is what it is. It's like a ship in a bottle kind of thing. It comes, I don't know if you can see through, but it comes with this shark. It's a, it's a shark with like a gold on it. I actually watched a YouTube tutorial on how to do this, how to do this with your kid. It opens in the center and then you cut the shark's belly open with like the plastic knife that they include. Um, you can actually see it this shape of a knife. There's a knife right there. Um, you cut the shark's belly open and then it like oozes out like slime and then you get the little skeleton figure and he has a little tool and he can write he can write on the shark. So this is the one I got for Rory. It was about $15 on sale. It was on a Black Friday sale and I know that he's gonna be happy to get this. He really wanted it so we got him that and then we also got him this again Black Friday sale. We were really going to do one or the other but because they were on Black Friday sale this was only six bucks and it's normally ten I think so um, yeah both on sale 
able to buy both. Um, and this, I think it looks like it's just like some dinosaur bone thing. I don't know. I did not watch a YouTube tutorial on this one, so I'm not sure. But <laughs> he's definitely going to have fun with these. But these are probably a little bit more shorter lived. It's more like instant gratification of opening the mystery egg, but then, I don't know, we'll see if they last as toys. So, Marvel Legends makes a lot of really cool action figures. They actually have some that are like the retro um, style of action figures. He wanted the Spider-Man one. The Spider-Man one is actually sold out until March. Like, it was very popular. My mom bought him the Green Goblin one. I was gonna buy him the Green Goblin one because he does not have a Spider-Man villain action figure yet. So she bought him that one. We were gonna buy him the Spider-Man one, but sold out until March. So that will probably be like an Easter thing because that's even after his birthday. Um, we'll have to see about that. But they did have Venom in stock, so we got Venom for him. He actually helped pick this one out, so he probably knows that he has this. Next up, I have wanted to get him a set of web shooters. Honestly, I was less jazzed about buying him web shooters because he already has two different sets of web shooters. I bought him a set last year uh, for Christmas that was a web shooter and then it had the mask. He loves the mask so much. The web shooter he does play with, but you know, he already has two sets, so I wasn't like, oh no, I need to get the best set because it's kind of repetitive, honestly. So I was able to get this set from Shop at Disney. It was under $10 on clearance, and it's just kind of, he asked for it for Christmas, so I want to make sure I at least get him something like this, and I honestly feel like somebody else is probably going to get him a set of web shooters because everybody that knows him knows that he loves Spider-Man. So I don't even think this is the only set of web shooters he's going to get for Christmas. So I'm kind of glad that I didn't try to spend a lot of money on this, but I did get him these, and I do think he's going to like this and play with it. So Shop Disney, less than 10 bucks. On the same Spider-Man track, I got him some Spider-Man PJs. So I thought this set was very cute. I also bought this from Shop Disney, and these were on sale. Um, I think they were $12 or something. So regularly $20. He can always use a good set of pajamas. So got him these. He loves PJs. He does not have a robe yet here. We had got him. We got him one during the summertime that's a towel robe for when he uses the hot tub. But he doesn't have like a soft plush robe and Dan and I are always wearing robes around the house. So I thought why not get him one that he can wear either around the house or sometimes we just like to casually walk around the yard in the morning when it's a little chilly. Um, so this will be good for that, definitely. This was on sale at Target. It was on Black Friday. It's regularly $16.99 and I think I got it for $12. So got a good deal on this. Um, they had a nice PJ sale on Black Friday and I think he's gonna love this. He's gonna be so surprised when he gets it. So next up, Rory likes to just sit and hang out and watch his tablet sometimes and he has the Amazon Fire Kids one. Definitely like the volume can be really loud sometimes and it's hard to concentrate or hear when there's like five different noises in the house. So we thought, why not get him a set of headphones that he can wear when he's watching his Amazon tablet. And I was a little concerned honestly about this because I don't want him to just get sucked into um, screen time and not pay attention to what's going on around him. Of course I was worried about that, but as long as we are careful and we watch him and we control his screen time, I think it's going to be okay. And I do think he's really going to like these. Dan wanted to make sure that we bought um, wireless ones. So these are Bluetooth and wired, so it can go either way. I don't know exactly how that works. I'm guessing there's a plug-in for the audio. Yeah, really nice. These were also on a Black Friday sale. They were... $15 or $14 on sale so got a good deal on these. It's just crazy to me that I have a four-year-old kid that is ready to use headphones like that just kind of blows my mind a little bit like to me he's just still like a baby so 
Anyway, I shared with you the Woodland Animal book that I got for Luna at Costco. This is the one that I got for Rory. He actually picked this one out. I'm sure that he remembers getting it, um, but this is intended as a Christmas present for him. He loves skeletons. He loves pirates. Pretty much all summer long, like we watched Pirates of the Caribbean. I think it was the first one over and over and over again. He loved Pirates of the Caribbean and he loves skeletons. Like he's obsessed with skeletons. So this book really drew him in and it's actually a really nice book. This book really speaks to someone like Rory, someone Rory's age, like the artwork, the wording. I think it's really good for someone his age. So we're gonna keep this out on in their books, either in their bookshelf or we have a little bookshelf in here that we use. Um, he can grab this anytime and read it. He loves it. So um, by read it, I just mean look at it. Oh, it has something inside. Let's see, what is this? Oh my gosh, it has a poster with it. That is cool. It comes with a poster. So yeah, Brewery's gonna love this. So on that same line of thinking, Rory wanted the gigantic Lego pirate ship that's $99. You can find it at Target, you can find it at Walmart, you can find it at the Lego store, it's everywhere. Um, it's definitely outside of his age range. It's not age appropriate for him. It's a very big pirate ship. I wanna say it's probably something like this when it's fully built. And honestly, our house is not that big. We don't have a whole lot of room. We already have a Millennium Falcon that's like this, Lego Millennium Falcon. Um, Dan is gonna grab it. So we're thinking about the fact that it's not age appropriate. It's over $100 after tax. And Rory can't even build it himself. So that just makes it a little hard to motivate me to buy it for him. So this is the millennium falcon so if you can see the size of this this is about how big this ship would be but shaped more like a pirate ship um and you know this thing honestly already is very hard to store without you know breaking pieces off of it we have it really up high on a shelf um eventually we'll get to a point where when we add on to our house we'll have more space for this kind of stuff but right now this just isn't the time and we're gonna wait so anyway um we decided not to buy rory the lego pirate ship it sucks because i know that's what he really really wanted he really wanted that for christmas um but again i gave you all the reasons so we bought him a different uh lego set that's a three-in-one Lego set. So this is the Lego set that we just purchased from eBay. I found this. It's a Goonies Lego Dimension set or whatever. It has three different pieces in it. So it has a little Goonies shipwreck. It has um, the sloth guy and then it has a skeleton organ. So this is, he's gonna love this. Um, I already know. He hasn't seen this yet, so I'm just really excited to see his reaction on Christmas morning when he sees this thing. He's going to love it so much. These will go really nicely with the set I just showed you um, because the set I just showed you does not have a skeleton with it. This has a skeleton on a piano. Dan bought an extra skeleton. So Rory is covered. He's going to have everything he needs for Legos for Christmas. It's not going to be quite what he asked for, but pretty darn close. You never know what you're going to find at TJ Maxx. Sometimes you find really cool things like this. We knew that Rory really wanted Jack Skellington toys for Christmas. He got one last year from my mom. It was a big Jack Skellington like that and he was not meant to be played with. He was meant to be put on a shelf and left there. Um, Rory actually broke it. Like He took it out of the box and moved the leg and it broke. Like 
instantly. So um, we felt so bad for him. Also, my mom spent a good amount of money on it. I think she spent over $40 on it because it was like an eBay thing. That being said, he hasn't really been able to play with it because it's broken. Um, right before Halloween, because we were watching The Nightmare Before Christmas a lot, I taped the leg on so he could still play with it because he was watching the movie he wanted to play with the toy. Um, so he did that, but it just isn't fun to play with a toy with a taped leg, honestly. He, he needed something more usable for him. So we went on eBay and we found a couple of options. Um, first off, we found these. They're pretty small, but Rory does like to carry around small toys, so I know that he's going to love these. Um, and if he loses one, he has a backup, so that's really nice. It comes with Jack, the arms and legs move, the knees do not bend, but the arms and legs move, and that comes with a little ghost coming out of a pumpkin, so that was really cool. It's just like it, it's the same thing, except for he's like got that creepy smile, so... These were two for $25. So Dan got these back in the summer when we were like, oh shoot, we really need to get him a Jack Skellington toy. So we bought that months ago. And then, of course, Shop Disney comes out with a Jack Skellington toy, which is perfect. I prefer to buy it from Shop Disney. It's a new toy. It's just made. It's higher quality. It's more poseable than these. Um, we even thought about returning these, but I thought, you know, let's just keep them. That way Rory has extras. So I bought Luna the Mickey Mouse Sorcerer's Apprentice. And I bought Rory Jack Skellington. He's going to be so excited when he sees this. Uh, very nice Jack Skellington with zero. He's going to love it. The arms and legs bend. Even It looks like his stomach even moves a little bit. Like he can change direction. Um, pivot. He can pivot. <laughs> So, and Zero glows in the dark, so that's really cool. Very nice. We got The Child. Um, this was $25 at Target. It came out in the summertime. It was a newer item in the summer. And this was actually the very first Christmas present that we bought for the kids. We were like, we have to get that. We didn't know if we were going to give it to Rory or Luna, it's, and it naturally went the direction that we should just give it to Rory. Um, the cool thing about this is he makes noise. So I'll show you. <laughs> it's just a talking plush. That's basically what he is with his, his face is plastic. And he comes with his little cup that he drinks out of. And he comes with a frog. Um, his mouth does not open. But his arms move. And then, of course, like I said, if you squeeze his tummy, talks. So this was the $25 child toy. And um, they have since come out with a lot of different types of child toys. Um, but we had already bought this in the summertime, and I am still happy with this purchase. Like, you can still go to Target and buy this for $25. Bucks. But they came out with some where you can, they can walk, they can respond to you, but... You know what, the kids, they're not old enough for that anyways, so we're fine with this. They're going to love it. A couple of weeks ago, we purchased this item. We actually purchased it for our nephew, but honestly, coronavirus is really bad right now, and we're not even going to see our nephew for Christmas, so I don't know when we're going to see him. Honestly, it's sad to say, but I don't know when we're going to see him. So whenever we do see him, we'll buy him gifts then. But for now, it, there's no point in me just having this toy sitting around when I know that Rory would enjoy it. So um, we're going to give this to Rory instead. And uh, I think that he will really love playing with this. Um, it says here that it comes with the bike, the child, the Mandalorian, and the weapons that the Mandalorian uses. So... Very neat little toy here. I think this was about 12 or $15. I'm not quite sure, but yeah, really nice little set there. There's one gift left. So I got Luna the big wheel, the Minnie Mouse big wheel. And you know that her cradle was her main gift. Well, Rory's main gift is the pirate Lego set. So 
Luna got the big wheel. Rory got a scooter. So it's a little banged up, um, but we got him a scooter. Um, I think he's really going to like it. He's never ridden a scooter, I don't think, unless he did with a grandparent. I, I, I think this is a new thing for him. Um, we're going to probably, just like I said with the big wheel, we're going to put that together and leave it, leave it out for the kids in the morning so they can just see it and play with it. Um, we're probably going to do that with this too. I'm not going to wrap it. Um, so yeah, I'm excited for him to have a new thing to play with outside. Um, I think that he's ready. If he's not ready, he has a lot of other things he can play with um, until he's ready. But this was really awesome. We got it on clearance at Target. This was right before they got all their Christmas toys in. So I think they were just trying to clear the shelves for all the new scooters. We got this for, I think, $17. So we got a really good deal on this thing. And um, that's it, guys. That's everything I got for Rory and Luna for Christmas. Ready, Luna? Okay. Let's get Rory's gifts out. Should we get Rory's gifts out? Okay, okay so Rory, his main gift is this box from eBay. And then we wanted to get him because we got Luna an extra gift or two. We wanted to get Rory this gift, um, especially since we were not able to get him the Spider-Man action figure that he wanted. Kind of like... <laughs> This is kind of like the replacement for that, so let me show you guys. So we got him a He-Man. <laughs> we got Rory a He-Man. So it's the Masters of the Universe retro style He-Man. I actually had that when I was a baby. My mom had that for me <laughs> when I was a baby. Um, so that's pretty cool. And then Rory wanted this one. So he wanted Skeletor. Oh. So we mainly wanted to get him Skeletor, and then He-Man goes with Skeletor, so he gets both. Um, they were 15 bucks each at Walmart, so that was a good, good buy for him, and Skeleton, Skeleton. I'm going to wrap these up for him, and he's going to love them. I'm really excited about that. i got to get into this one now. I'm holding Luna, so this is hard. Luna, you need to get down. <laughs> okay, we got it open. Rory's like, Rory's in his room <laughs> waiting to come out. So, um, this is the Lego set that we got for Rory. So it has... Can I play with it? It's for Rory. It's a three-in-one, so you can make a ship, a, a skull island type thing, or a tree house. So, I gotta, I gotta get this put away before he comes out. So that's Rory's main gift. We we're gonna get him like the pirate ship one, but it's a little out of his age, his recommended age. So this is gonna be good. Um, this is gonna be a good replacement for him. And he likes to take things apart a lot more at this stage. He doesn't want to put it together and leave it. He wants to take it back apart. So this is good because it's gonna be easier to fix or put back together if he does take it apart. Where's the parrot That's ship? Awkward. Those big complex Legos are hard to put back together once you take them apart. It's hard to fix them. So I'm, I'm really happy that we made this decision instead. So that's everything for Rory. We're done with him. And then we got one for Luna. She's not going to really, she's seen it and she doesn't really care. Like she's still going to be excited when she opens it. So just have to excuse me that she's standing right here. But um, this is Luna's last gift. It's the Ariel Duplo set. And we... Can you play with it? When you open it on Christmas morning, okay? Okay. Um, we ordered this on Target, or we uh, thought we did. Uh, 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 you want flounder? <laughs> we thought we ordered this. Um, it went on sale on, on Target for $23, and then I told him, buy it now because it's on sale, and then it's not on sale anymore. So last week, I was like, you need to check on that order and see if it's on its way or whatever. So he checked and it showed that he never ordered it. So he thought he ordered it, but didn't. And then we were looking around everywhere for it, but it was sold out everywhere. I don't know, this is like a hot toy or something. Um, it was sold out at Target, it was sold out at Barnes & Noble, it was sold out 
it said online that it was sold out at uh, Walmart, and so we thought we were just done. Like, there was really no other Duplo set that was a good replacement for it, because she has, like, two of the Mickey sets already, and she has the Elsa set already. So... We were just kind of giving up and then we we're finishing up our Christmas shopping and we just happened upon it at Walmart. It was there. It was by itself, not even in the right place. Like it wasn't even on the, the correct shelf. It was in the Lego section, not in the Duplo section. So it was just a weird coincidence to find it like that. Um, and we grabbed it immediately and it was actually only, it was only $23 at Walmart. So I'm really glad that we were able to get this. Ariel, it's Duplos. She loves playing with Duplos. She's going to love playing with this. She loves it already. <laughs> but I'm still going to wrap this up for her. Even though she's like only two, she's not going to remember the difference. But next year, I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm going to have to film this like super in secret. So Okay, so if I had an outro already filmed, I'll just put it right here. This is my what I got my kids for Christmas video. <laughs> And it's time for me to wrap these presents. I need to start wrapping. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'm really excited about giving my kids their Christmas presents on Christmas morning. It's going to be great. Uh, this has just been a really rough year. And I'm really excited to have a nice, peaceful Christmas. I, I cannot wait. It's in one week. So I'm excited. Anyway, you guys have a good one. See you later.